about the program and how it helps us spread the ideas of freedom to more radio stations all around the country, uh, unlike any other show uh, out there. No other show does it at the level that we do. So it's AMP, A-M-P, AMP, AMP.freetalklive.com. As we go back to the phones and to the fun. Wesley is in Minneapolis. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Wesley. Hey, how are you guys doing tonight? Great. Hey, what's on your mind? Oh, man, I just had to, I, I had to do a little bit of uh, whining <laughs> about the flat earth thing. You're going to get slammed tomorrow, I guarantee you. I'm having my podcast tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, what? Why are we getting slammed with flat earthers? Please, please no. <laughs> Please. No, yeah, yeah. You, guys, you guys got it. all I ask is you guys if you have an open mind you need to at least look at it before you slam it I'm surprised that you cut Mark off so quickly cut um, them off we go on yeah. and on with them for a, a segment at least usually when I've they spend hours yeah. talking to flat earthers they, they've called multiple times yeah this, is the first time, yeah this is the first time I've listened to your guys' show so I, I haven't seen well, any of the – never heard any We of didn't even have a Flat Earther call tonight. You you must have listened to a podcast from this week or something like that. It could have been. It could have been, yeah. Have Mark been. just posted a video about uh, – posted your guys' uh, – Who's Mark? Uh, Is he one of the Flat Mark Earthers? Earth. We're talking about Mark Edge. Mark? Who, who's Mark? Mark, no. Who? Mark, Mark Sargent. Yeah, I don't know who that yeah, is. I don't know either. What did he What did he post? Really? Oh, yeah. He's the uh, – he's the uh, – Creator of Flat Earth Clues on YouTube. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Is, I'm not familiar are with you it, saying but I'll he, look at it. Are you saying he called our show this week? Yeah, I just got done watching a video of it, and uh, I had see. you guys were on the video. So some, so, so a night. flat Earth guy called Free Talk Live and made a YouTube video out of it. Is what you're saying? Right, right, right. Gotcha. Right. Oh, okay. That's thing. why. The, that's why he's yeah, saying the uh, that we're going to get a, a rush of uh, crazy yeah, kook, yeah, flat earth callers. Thinking, yeah, we've we've listened to this nonsense <laughs> for quite a while, and uh, it's I don't know. I would say it's even more ridiculous than the chemtrail conspiracy. Are you a supporter well, you know, of the so flat did earth? I, two years ago, until I, I agree with you. I, I mean, I, I was totally. I mean, I'm a I'm a ball earther. And it's like, oh, I'm so down to that, and. Uh, until two years ago, I started researching it and getting in it hard. And uh, I'm like, wait a minute, there's something here. And uh, all I'm saying is if you guys, I'm, I'm warning no, you. No, there's all. nothing there's there coming. because it is, there's nothing there because it would require the world's most grand conspiracy in order for it to be pulled off. It would require everyone who's ever been involved in aerospace to be involved in a conspiracy to cover up the claim, you know, the belief or the right. claim that this is a flat earth instead of a globe. I mean, it's a ridiculous claim on its face. How anyone could take it seriously is absurd. But I, I always yeah. listen to the arguments, and I always <laughs> offer my own, you know, explain. But everybody, everybody, everybody's just kind of following the trend. You listen. I mean, how do you know for sure? Is it because that they told you? No, I can Or I, is it because there was a group in your room? Can I answer the question? In your classroom? You asked. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that's okay. I, I used to work in communications. I worked in telecommunications. You're I, part of the conspiracy, Chris. Well, no, I worked in satellite communications. Ah. And... um. I, I am also a ham radio operator who happens to do some stuff like, you know, I do communicate with satellites and bounce signals off of satellites and bounce satellite signals off of the moon, Earth, moon, Earth. That's what they told you to tell us. Yeah, I know. I know. But I, I see all <laughs> these things and I can tell, you know, I can predict my I have actually computer programs now that will tell me when a particular satellite is going to raise up over the horizon, how long it's going to be overhead. That's that's the first part. And then there is that whole, you know, four or five years of my life where I communicated with satellites that would travel across the sky, not geosynchronous, but orbital satellites. So you can try to convince me otherwise, but when my livelihood depended on it, this is what I did. Yeah, but unfortunately, the satellites are actually the only is basically the old Loran system. And uh, they're not bouncing anything off of any satellite because they're not up there. The satellites do, do, aren't do, up do, there? Do, 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 do. So how do you explain what Chris did with five years of his life? Well, I like, again, they're bouncing off. Oh, apparently the uh, satellite's not picking energy. up your phone signal real, uh, real okay, good there. Here, well, here's, okay, here's, here's the thing. 
if this is true, how come you don't get any any signal over in the southern hemisphere? GPS drops off. It's because it's a land-based system. You have think, no idea what you're talking about. Thank you for the call tonight, are- Wesley. I've had enough. Yeah. Well, you have GPS, and you also have the Russian system, and I'd be amazed. Uh, <laughs> I think it's called a... <laughs> Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but there's a, a Russian halo of satellites used mm-hmm. for global positioning, too. And I'm pretty sure those are both global systems. That's yeah. why would they only come up with a uh, system doesn't the to G cover... and GPS stand for <laughs> global? I think and you're on to something there, the stands Ian. for positioning and the S stands for system. I mean, th- that's how ridiculous this thing is. It requires you to have been in on this conspiracy. The last guy who called in admitted that he believes that everyone who's in, you know, space uh, exploration, that everyone who's in satellite uh, launching that that business, that everybody who's in these businesses that has to do with what's out there in orbit, uh, that it's all a conspiracy, all some sort of grand conspiracy designed to cover all this up. I mean, how anybody can believe this and take it seriously is bewildering to me. (laughs) That these callers aren't actually just trolling, that they actually believe this is... I know, but I still enjoy it. I, I don't can't know. even it understand. It is such a perverse thing. Let's go uh, continue here with hopefully some more sane, uh, at least somewhat more sane callers. Uh, Larry-